The Center for Media Policy and Accountability in a bid to strengthen anti-corruption in Nigeria had an inception meeting on Tuesday with relevant stakeholders to improve the quality of lives of the citizens holding government accountable. At the meeting, stakeholders dialogue on ways to contribute to the development of Nigeria. Our correspondent, Victoria Ayorinde, tells us more. In focus of building a corruption-free community, various stakeholders and the Center for Media, Policy and Accountability unveiled Nigerian Anti-Corruption Performance, a project for public reporting on Tuesday in the Federal Capital Territory. During the agency's unveiling, stakeholders reiterated the commitment to fight corruption and ensure accountability is upheld in governance. It was also added that strengthening anti-corruption will help in improving the lives of its citizens. Uh, it is important we have a project like this to help in you know, reporting you know, what you know, um, government is doing, particularly in relation to uh, anti-corruption. This work around anti-corruption is not just about esoteric conversation. It is about life, it is about death. And we must see this in that prism that we are trying to improve the quality of lives of all citizens. We are doing this work because we just want to make a country where 90% of the people will at least get the basic thing that they need. Also, stakeholders applauded the efforts of Center for Media, Policy and Accountability, adding that anti-corruption agencies should be involved in the polity of Nigeria, as well as focus in private sectors. The question is, what are the anti-corruption agencies themselves putting out to the public domain? Because what is being reported is what we have been documenting, what is being documented. If the anti-corruption agencies are not properly documenting their efforts, then the media cannot report what is not being done. We, we seem to forget about what happens, what happens in the private sector and ICPC has shown that the, the quantum of corruption in the private sector is much more uh, damaging and in fact higher than the corruption we have in the public sector. So while we are fighting corruption in the, in the public sector, we should pay equal attention to the private sector. Fight corruption through political participation. When everybody demonizes politics, and politicians, when in fact politics and politicians are necessary. The politics produces our leaders, whether we like it or not. Taking part in the political process doesn't necessarily mean contesting. You can take charge of what happens in your world, ensure that the right quality of people are brought on board, and then quality leadership can emerge. The Director, Center for Media, Policy and Accountability, Dr. Suleiman, Suleiman called for good partnership among all anti-corruption agencies in Nigeria. We want to create that sense. It's not, it has always been there, but we want to sharpen it. That anti-corruption work is done by various stakeholders who have to work together and collaborate with each other. Among these stakeholders are anti-corruption agencies and what we call associate anti-corruption agencies, like EFCC, ICPC, uh, Code of Conduct Review, uh, NFIU, SCOMO, TUGA, PACA, MOJ, Public Complaints Commission, and so on. Many of these are governmental organizations doing one thing or another uh, uh, on a daily basis, or at least on a regular basis, or at least some part of their programs that are related to uh, reducing corruption in the country. The objective of the meeting is aimed at creating good relationship between anti-corruption agencies and to have a standardized template for reporting corruption across Nigeria.